I've been studying for about four hours and it's lunchtime so we're gonna go get some lunch and I wanted to show you guys this cool thing I got this computer stand the thing came in this box and I feel like I've been studying like this this whole time which makes my neck really sore um, but now it's doing this so I can be upright and it's better for my posture really happy with this purchase and I highly recommend it all right let's go lunch Lunch time. Yeah. Hey guys, so we're gonna quickly check our PO box before we go eat. And for lunch, it's Japanese ramen. A lot of you guys asked me some tips on how to memorize things, so I thought I might show you guys how um, what I do to memorize a large volume of stuff. So I've talked about Anki before, and it's a free um, app that you can download from your computer. If you download it onto your iPad, I believe it's not free, but on the computer it's a free app. So let me show you guys. So this is what the app looks like. I have all my decks here. Um, some of them I downloaded from online, some of them I made myself. Right now I'm working on a deck that I titled Jamie Step 1. Um, right now I'm doing Immuno, so I'll show you guys quickly how to add a card. So to add, you click add, and it's like any other flash card. You have a front and a back, and you write down your information. So let's do um, anti-basement membrane, and that's gonna be associated with good pasture syndrome. And then you click add and that's basically it if you download a separate add-on for anki called image occlusion you can do um, you can make you can turn images and different tables into flashcards so i'll show you guys what that looks like so let me pick a random screenshot that i have here so um, in order to make into make it into a flashcard you would just block out an area like this and you can do more than one card per image so something like that and then you press this button to turn these two boxes into flashcards so I don't actually want to make it up this table so let me show you guys what it looks like when it's done so this is a table that I made on Microsoft Word um, and then I screenshotted it and I turned it into flashcards so um, every empty box is basically an empty um, flashcard so I'll click through and um, answer some of these questions and based on how well I knew the answer I can choose to see it again in less than one minute in one day or four days and Anki will kind of change these dates based on how many times you've seen the card so let's say good and then you can um, you know if you thought it was easy you can click uh, four days um, and Anki is really great because you can turn all these different um, sources into flashcards and you can really ensure that you have everything memorized so for example, for something like biochem, you can use some of these tables um, and then you can um, use these reaction pathways and you can block off the enzyme names and you can test yourself that way. And um, so you have the option of choosing between four days, seven days, nine days. Um, so you can really ensure that you know this stuff long term. So this is how I do my memorization in med school. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can see there's some of them have like thousands of cards I don't do um, all of them I just do as much as I can um, so I hope you guys found this helpful um, I'm trying this out in med school because I didn't know about Anki in college but I think that it would definitely be helpful in college too so it's a free program like I said I'll put the website in the description box for you guys to download it if you want to and let me know how you guys like it oh by the way I'm using my first aid to make some really simple cards. These charts are just, it's not really even like understanding, it's basically just straight up memorization. So things like this is really good for Anki. I released another video today. I try to do one every Saturday. So I want to take a quick break and check on how my video is doing. So I'm actually, I just want to tell you guys, I'm really happy about all the comments that you guys leave me. And because of time constraint, I can't always answer back to all of them, but I really try to answer all the uh, all the comments and questions and stuff right after I release a video. So a couple hours after releasing the video, I try to check as often as I can and try to um, respond. If you guys have any questions, like a quick question, the best time to ask definitely is um, 
right after a new video goes up. So just a quick update on step studying. Studying's going well. It's the end of my third week studying and I guess the only thing I have to say is um, it gets really lonely studying by myself. Um, I've been studying at home because it, I think that it's where I feel the most comfortable and I don't actually find myself being all that distracted like I thought I might be. So I guess it's all the um, kind of anxiety of like, oh, will I do everything I need to do that's keeping me from, you know, going and taking a nap on my bed. So um, I've covered so far cardio, palm, renal, neuro, biochem, and immuno. I'm doing the second day of immuno. It's going to be my last day of immuno. So um, I, everything's on schedule so far. I haven't had to take any like emergency time off or anything like that. I've pretty much stuck to my schedule, my day-to-day -day schedule. So I'm really happy about that. That's my update for now. It's 9 o'clock. Um, I've been studying pretty much all day, so my head really hurts. It's full of knowledge now. So I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, um, I think I'm gonna call it a night. I might do a couple of Anki decks, um, but just gonna grab something to eat and I will be back to studying tomorrow. I will see you guys in the next video.